guys, this is Vegas Romania. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on dirt bike. Mine is a Yamaha WR450F. Uh, I have a better camera, so I'm going to give you better angles, better videos. It's going to be uploaded in 1080p, so please uh, stay subscribed and uh, watch this video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change the um, oil, also how to, ch how to clean the uh, stainless steel filter that I have on this bike. This is something you'll have to do every 200 miles, so you'll have to have all these things around the, the, the house. Uh, oil chains are expensive if you don't do it themselves. So what I'm going to have, uh, this bike takes a quart of oil. I'm going to have a tray where I'm going to uh, uh, make, uh, I'm going to take the oil out of the engine. Uh, you need a couple of funnels, or just one will do fine. Uh, this is going to be used to clean the Allen wrenches, and I'm going to show you why. You're going to have to take the air filter out, and the Allen wrenches uh, uh number 8 and number 14 to be able to take the bolts out that uh, hold the, the skid plate and also in my case a screwdriver because I have a screw that I replaced myself and it doesn't have a 14 on it anymore it's just a, um, a screwdriver but first things first you have to heat up the engine you have to have that oil flow really good so you have to ride it around the neighborhood some people just leave it running in the garage I don't like to do that because you will uh, breathing all that smoke from the engine when you're actually working on the bike. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to go for a free ride. Okay, oil will go in here and it will go in. Uh, you'll have to also check over here. Because of that, I need to clean these areas. Very, very important. I use a compressed air. I don't want crap to get into. I don't want crap to get into my engine when I work on it. Also, water will work really, really well. With the skid plate off, you're going to find surprises over here, in my case, sticks and other stuff. Place your tray under the motorcycle. There will be two bolts that you have to take out. Most of the motorcycles have two drain plugs. Some of them have just one. Mine is, one is over here and one is right underneath. You're going to take one out at a time, but make sure that when you do take them out, the oil has a tendency to gush out. So if your tray is not line up properly, you have to pull the tray more towards you. So that way when the oil comes out, it actually goes into the tray. One of my bolts is over here, and the other one is right under here. First, I'm gonna take the dipstick. This motorcycle has a little dipstick over here. I'm gonna take this one out. Make sure you put it in a safe place so you don't lose it, very important. Uh, the engine will breed through here and also through this uh, oil hole, so where you're putting the the oil inside the engine. So I have to take these two out before I release this bolt. When I release this bolt, the oil starts gushing out. Remember the tray has to be more this way. So remember the tray has to be more this way so you don't uh, you don't gush all over your floor. Make sure you don't lose your bolt. Very, very important. Also, I like to give them a good cleaning. There is a little washer over here. So this is the bolt and it has a little crush washer over here. So very, very important, don't lose that. Now you're ready to push the tray a little bit deeper in and I'm going to show you on the other side, the other bolt. On this side of the motorcycle, the bolt is located over here. So as you can see, it's right in line with the brake. I'm going to slowly take this bolt out I already loosened it up with a with a 12 number 12. If I said in the video before 14, I'm sorry, I apologize for that. It's actually a number 12. This one is coming out. As you can see, there is oil over there. Also, it has a washer and it has a crush washer on it. So make sure that you keep track of this and also clean it. Now we're ready to take out the oil filter and clean the oil filter. It's located over here on this side of the motorcycle which is the right side. There are Allen wrenches, 4.5 screws that you have to remove. So slowly you have to take them out. Make sure you use metric. This motorcycle is all metric. There are no uh, say because you don't want to strip any of these bolts and, and be in a big pickle if you break them. So this come out. When you put them back in, you don't have to tighten them too much. Keep that in mind. They're different sizes. So Keep that in mind, they're, they're different sizes. There it is. So the longest one is here on top. The uh, medium one is over here and the shorter one is over here. 
and this is gonna be your this is my stainless steel oil filter very very good product I bought it by $25 but it saves me a lot of headache because I don't have to replace them all I have to do is just give them a good cleaning and you're good to go also I'm gonna use a rag to take all this oil out now it's time to take all the oil out of the motorcycle, so how I'm going to do that, I'm going to lean the motorcycle left and right until there's no more oil coming out. As you can see, there is more oil coming out, so me by leaning the motorcycle, I basically take all that oil out. Now that the oil is out, what I like to do is I like to put the bolts back on on the bottom. So I don't lose them, I don't forget about them. Uh, some people I've seen them getting so excited for getting about to put this on when they pour the oil in the engine, they just spill all the way out uh, in the tray. So I'm gonna put these bolts back in here and then I could take the tray away so I could work more clearly. Now I'm ready to pull the tray away. And I always like to clean the engine really good so dust doesn't stick to the oil. Now it's time to clean my oil filter. I use this uh, carb choke parts cleaner and I'm just gonna clean it to make sure that there are no um, metal pieces left on it from the inside of the engine. I always do it on top of the tray. I have it over here and then put it in a clean place so it can dry itself out before you put it into the engine. This, this dries really, really fast, this uh, uh, cleaning solution. Over here, before you put your filter back in, inspect these gaskets, make sure that they are clean, make sure there's not no pinched, so they don't leak. It's very, very important. There's a gasket over there, a gasket here on top, and two little ones over here. So make sure that those gaskets are fine, so you don't have a leaking uh, oil filter. Okay, I'm ready to put the oil filter back in. This is the cap that is going to be mounted on. So we'll just nicely go in here like this. And then this oil filter will be pushed against the bottom. Also, there's a gasket over here, so you want to inspect this gasket, make sure it's clean. There's no debris that's going to get caught by it, so you will have a, a uh, clean install. medium bolt on the bottom long bolt on top and short bolt over here so all the way all the way until they start catching and then you tighten them in the circle pattern so you get that uh, gasket evenly spread out so one two three one, two, and three. Now we are ready to fill up the engine with oil. Uh, very, very simple. You're going to need a funnel, a uh, clean funnel. Very, very important. Make sure you don't put any crap in the engine. This is a uh, Castrol oil. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description of the video. You get about six of these bottles for about $40 on Amazon, free shipping to your house. That's the best place, it's much better than Amazon, uh, I'm sorry, much better than AutoZone or Walmart or whatever. I don't know why they sell them so expensive over there, but you get six of these bottles for about $40. Uh, I'm gonna put a link of the, on the video description for this particular uh, product. Uh, very, very good, I change them every 250 miles. I know I change it a little bit more often than I need to, but I like to keep the bike um, nice and clean. It's gonna take, a little bit over a quart, 1.06. So this is a quart over here, and I have another one that is open. So I'm gonna pour an entire quart in there because I changed the air, the oil filter. And when you change the oil filter, the bike takes a little bit more. Otherwise, you could get away with just one quart every oil change. It's in. I know I'll have to add a little bit more, but what I do is, because I have to check the level, so I'm gonna make sure that I don't put too much. I'm gonna put both of the caps back on. This is the oil filler cap. So I'm going to put it back in all the way, not tight, just all the way. And I'm going to put a dipstick back in. And I'm going to start the engine and let the oil circulate a little bit. And then let it settle and then read, make a reading on the level and see how much I really have to add. 
it will have to circulate through the uh, oil filter. So I'm going to let the range run for about 30 seconds. And then I'm going to check on this dipstick and see how much oil I have to still add. Taking the dipstick out, I'm keeping the bike level. And this is uh, the oil level. So what I do is every every first time every reading is not clear. So I put it back in. Not screwed in. Take it out. And do a reading. So it's almost to the minimum. I don't know if you can see there's like two little notches over there. And it's actually halfway into between those two. So I'm going to do another reading. I'm always worried that I don't have enough oil. I don't like to write to run the bike without oil. So I'm going to put the dipstick back in, not screwed in. Take it out. Do another reading. And it's a little bit towards the minimum. I don't like to run it that way. I always add a little bit more. So I'm going to go and get a little bit more oil. And this bike is ready to go. The oil change is complete. The engine is cleaned. The only thing that is left to do is put the skid plate back on. Bolt on the bottom, two bolts on the top. And you are good to go. Um, Thank you very much for watching. This is Vegas Romaniac. This is how I change my oil. Please subscribe to my channel if you have any other questions about other parts of this motorcycle or any other things like those. I am going to answer them at uh, my best ability.